The ancestor of the modern trumpet was a straight horn that could emit just a few notes. By the 15th century, they learned how to bend the horn, increasing the length of the instrument and the series of notes it produced. The invention of the valve in the mid-1800s finally allowed the trumpet to be played in any key. A trumpet is made up of a metre and a half of tubing. Three valves allow air to flow through additional tubing to alter the trumpet's pitch. Trumpets are made from sheets of metal, most often brass. This factory combines different thicknesses in a single instrument to attain a particular sound. Workers first lay a template on a brass sheet and trace it out. They then cut along the score line with electric shears. This piece will become the trumpet's bell. A manually operated press forms a perfect fold down the middle. Then they notch the edges. Then they close up the bell by hammering the notched pieces into the opposite edge. They use a rawhide mallet because anything harder would damage the brass. They melt a brass alloy along the joint. It solidifies into a metal seam that bonds the edges permanently. They slip the bell over a cone-shaped mandrel and hammer the brass until it too is cone-shaped. Then the bell goes onto another mandrel mounted on a lathe. They push the brass against the mandrel to finalize the shape. Then they file the metal smooth. Now for the bell's rim, called the bead. A brass rod with a notch at the end catches the edge of the bell and rolls it back into a rim. They use what's called a concave roller to round the rim's jagged edge. <laughs> 